Staggering statistics from the CDC are putting a new focus on how the COVID-19 pandemic impacted mental health in America. Yeah, drug overdose deaths soared nearly 30% in 2020, and in states like ours, those numbers are even higher. Shatanya Clark looked into the local impacts of Shatanya. Police say deaths in Wichita Falls are low, but nonprofits are still seeing an increase in clients. They sure are, Daryl. Now, fentanyl, along with isolation and stress from the COVID-19 pandemic, are causing the surge, but nonprofits like Helen Farabee and Hope Center Ministries want people to know they are here to help. I started using whenever I was 15, 16 years old. Ten months in a year-long program after a couple of decades of what he calls bad choices, Brian Rogers is now getting his life and family back. I started with uh, prescription medicine and marijuana uh, and ended up uh, using methamphetamine, cocaine, and eventually became a heroin addict by the time I was about 20 years old. Recent studies show an increase in drug use and overdose in the country. Texas following that trend with a 32% increase in reported or predicted cases. Many, including Paul Hicks, director of Hope Center Ministries, saying the pandemic has been a major factor in these startling numbers. This is a real epidemic. People are, people are dying every day. Um, we've seen it firsthand. You know, in our center, we've had people that have left and overdosed. And so, you know, it's something we really are trying to target strategically. The CDC says an alarming 93,000 overdose deaths in the U.S. just last year, as opposed to 72,000 from the previous year, a 29% increase. Preliminary reports say 1,000 more Texans died from drug overdoses in 2020 than in 2019. Helen Farabee's Brad Fisk says this is an ongoing issue, whether there's a pandemic year or not. From my experience, the numbers have remained pretty consistent, actually. Uh, there, there may have been some increase due to the pandemic, especially with adults. I'm sure not saying that the increase is not there. Wichita Falls Police Department reports 150 overdoses, one of which was fatal between January 1st, 2019 and October 31st, 2020. Rogers says for folks who find themselves coping with stress through substance abuse, there is help available. If you find yourself, you know, becoming dependent, you know, or having a, a misuse issue, a, of any type of substance, but especially opioids, you know, don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be ashamed to reach out and say, hey, I've got a, got a problem here. I need to do something about it. Rogers, Hicks, and Fisk encourage Texomans to support those they know battling with addiction so together they can combat this crisis. Now, the Texas Health and Human Services Commission will receive $210 million from the federal government to address the state's issues. Okay, Shatanya, those are some really great resources there. Thank for you sure. so much for sharing that. Well, if you or someone you know is struggling with substance abuse, the substance abuse number is right there on your screen. It's 800-662-4357. And we're going to have this number again for you inside this story over at TexomasHomepage.com.